Every time I took that medicine, I could hear a soft, light, whistling melody. Whistling. Hmm. What is whistling? Miss Druvis, we are waiting for your response. Now, I am the last to be invited. Is there anything else that concerns you, Miss Druvis? When will my friends come back? They are waiting for you outside the suitcase, just as we are. All we want is an opportunity to talk to you face to face. Please wait a moment. May I ask where we are? The library. A place where people let down their guards. Trust always facilitates cooperation, don't you think? But I don't even know your name. The name is Constantine. I'm the vice president of the Joint Committee of the Foundation. Please allow me to extend a welcome on behalf of the Foundation. We have sent this document into that suitcase days ago. I should assume that you have read it. What's your conclusion then, Ms. Weyerhauser? Are you referring to inviting Sotheby? Mr. Apple and me to join the Foundation. We need to discuss this with Burton before we give you a proper response. We don't know much about the Foundation. As far as I'm concerned, I do not yet intend to join any organization. Hmm. That is to say, you are inclined to turn down my proposal. My apologies. Verton has not only been of great help to us, but also saved us from the storm. I cannot accept the invitation without her opinion. Neither can I make decisions for others. Fair enough. You, who accidentally and rather luckily escaped from the storm in 1929, and now seek refuge from the Foundation. Weyerhauser, Sotheby, and Apple, you are the spire of the tower. Between you and the Foundation, the stories in the middle are our investigators who go out to rescue the wandering arcanists and humans. Burton is one of them. Merely a drop in the ocean. Verton, indeed, is the key to connect you and the Foundation. But let's not forget, only an entity as massive and powerful as the Foundation can provide you with long-lasting protection. 
Without the Foundation's supplies, manpower, and technology, even Burton can barely sail against the great tides of history. Let alone the ordinary people, whose fate is doomed to struggle in the endless hazards of time. Open your eyes and take a look. We are the unshakable fortress you should rely on. Do you still wish to talk to Verton first? <sighs> She's receiving a treatment from us. Which means she won't make it back by your side before any decision is made. Her suitcase will also be retrieved for research purposes after the meeting. As compensation for your displacement, we will arrange you a more decent room. Miss Z will show you around the headquarters tomorrow. Go walk around and meet some people. Perhaps it will help you see what the most beneficial choice to all of us would be. I will wait for your answer. But... Don't keep me waiting for too long. Yes, I have received a report on the Chicago office. Well done. Good timing. <gasps> Did I startle you? Considering what we've been through together, I didn't expect you to be as surprised as Miss Weyerhauser was. Sharon didn't tell me you're here. There's no need to tense up. I told her not to say anything. I have talked to Miss Weyerhauser. Everything's going well. She's gotten quite a shock. That little pale face. Like a stressed cat. She's in dire need of comfort from a friend. What do you want me to do? To do what a good tamer would do. Reach her with a sincere, friendly gesture. Ease their pains, answer their questions, and lead them on to the right path. Of course. Most importantly, make them be of use to us, to serve the course of the peace of mankind. I see. None of them has signed the agreement. But this recruitment is essential for us for the short term and for the long run. Can you see what I am doing? Oh, and there's one more thing. Don't address her as Miss Weyerhauser. She doesn't like it. I'll take note on that.
five and two thirds portions of silver wine, 20 drops of toad oil, and some crumbles of pure gold from Ukayali. Last ingredient, the burning acid salts. The Sotheby's incredible shape-shifting potion will be done at any minute. Sotheby, do you need help? Uh, I am putting on stockings. This is ladies' dressing time, so don't you come in. Just a minute. It's all right. I'll be fine. I may look a bit different from expected, but it doesn't matter. Three, two... One. but I have to open the door. <gasps> Miss Sotheby? still be in the room.
Miss Sotheby. Sotheby, you are not allowed to leave the room without permission. Please forgive me for being violent. Uh, it's the Iron Ball's fault! This is false imprisonment! I must get out of here today! Bodyguard? I seldom work together with others, but this is not bad. Hours, 15 minutes left. No, nothing. Let's move on to the next. You can never seize Miss Sotheby, the great potion alchemist, that easily! What? What's going on? 
What's wrong, Miss Salome? Your dress is a mess. Oh, this room smells terrible. Oh, my body is back. The potion's effect wears off. Good to see you here. We must apply for more guards for this room. <laughs>